While most of the leaders in the Jubilee Alliance have been against the methods employed by Accord to have a new electoral commission in place for the next elections, it appears the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee has been working underground to find a solution. NTV has learned that the committee will be having a retreat this week where it will meet with the commissioners and other stakeholders to chat a way forward. Among the suggestions in the committee is to reduce the terms of the commissioners from the current six years to four. This is to ensure that for every election there is a new set of IEBC commissioners to avoid a situation like the one now. The committee, however, will need to get a proper interpretation on whether changing the term limits require a referendum. It will also need to gather the required numbers in Parliament to support its proposal. NTV has also learned that the committee is thinking of having only five commissioners in the IEBC working part-time. Currently, there are nine of them. NTV has also learned that the committee is looking to amend the Elections Act to have a new selection panel that has all the stakeholders drawn from the political parties and other interested parties. This panel will conduct interviews and select a pool of nominees from whom the president can appoint the four commissioners and the chairman. What to do with the current commissioners is the biggest hurdle, but the committee could end their terms through the law and pay them what they could have earned for the remainder of their term. It could also be through a petition as provided in the constitution challenging the suitability and credibility of individual commissioners currently in office. Lawyer Paul Muite suggests that pursuing the Chicken Gate case could be the best way to go by locally registering the judgment made at the High Court in UK against Smith and Usman directors that they bribed officials of the defunct Interim Independent Electoral Commission. If that judgment was registered here, then a petition follows for the removal of these commissioners on the basis of that. And Parliament, Jubilee then used their tyranny of numbers to block that. You open up a constitutional issue for the Constitutional Court. Because quite clearly, they should go. And they should go on the basis of corruption. The plan, sources tell NTV, is to have all these amendments ready for debate by June when Parliament resumes its sittings. Apart from CORD, several organizations, including the National Council of Churches in Kenya, the Law Society of Kenya and the Central Organization of Trade Unions, have called for the IEBC to be reconstituted before the next elections. I support the churches, I support Honor Braila, and we consulted with workers yesterday. The IEBC must be reconstituted. There is no way out if you want peaceful elections next year. Humanly speaking, it might be hard for them to discharge their duties effectively in the face of alleged corruption cases that have tainted their credibility. They too cite the lack of confidence in the commission and the allegations of corruption as a reason for the removal of the commissioners. Andrew Ochieng, NTV.